Expect a slow go this morning if you plan on riding the Patco High Speed Line. A train hit a utility pole yesterday, halting service. That is still causing problems this morning. I'm a reporter Trang Dell is live at the Ferry Avenue station in Camden with more on the situation. Trang, good morning. Well, good morning, guys. Yes, things are slowly getting back to normal here. I'll take you back up. Perfect timing. There's a train coming in right now. These trains have been coming in about every 10 to 15 minutes, so not so bad. And a huge improvement over this time yesterday morning where there were no trains running at all. Patco is still working to resolve a major issue that brought Monday morning's commute to a screeching halt. It's kind of unfortunate, really, um, especially with, you know, people who have work schedules that kind of revolve around this sort of uh, transportation. Officials say a Conrail train hit an electrical pole, which caused an attached conduit line to hang over the track. Just before 5.30 a.m., a Patco train traveling eastbound near the Ferry Avenue station hit that line. Service was suspended in both directions while crews worked to figure out what happened. Limited service was eventually restored throughout the day Monday. I'm very surprised. <laughs> We're very surprised. But they're providing a shuttle, so I appreciate it. And again, trains are now running every 10 minutes. Now, after rush hour until 2 p.m., they'll be running every 15 minutes. Evening service is TBA at the moment until they can figure out how much work crews can get done today. Of course, follow Ride Paco on Twitter for updates throughout the day. But for now, we're live in Camden, New Jersey. I'm Trang Doe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jim Rahel, back to you. Thanks so much, Trang.